Hey, I just wanted to show you the setup real quick here. So I got a GH5 and it's pointing at a green screen. And I'm just doing this like on the spur of the moment so I don't have this set up uh, professionally. I just, I'm just showing you real quick and dirty. So GH5 running through an HDMI cable into the computer to the Camlink 4K and then I got a green screen. That's my basic setup. Hey, how's it going? So I just wanted to walk you through real quick on real-time compositing in Unreal Engine just because there are a couple steps. So I did a couple videos already, but I just wanted to give you kind of a quick, this is just a real quick and dirty walkthrough. I've already done some other videos, but I just wanted to walk through the, the basic process really, really quick. So I'm just going into a blank game project and this is a blueprint, no starter content, no ray tracing. And I'm just going to call this RTC for real time compositing. And we're just going to go create and let it do its thing. We're going to have to restart Unreal Engine real quick one time, real fast. And then I'll leave a link in the description to other videos, the other two videos that you can watch if it doesn't work for you from watching this. So anyway, like I said, I'm just going to go kind of quick on this because I've already done a video, but I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into edit and we're going to go into project settings and we're going to go down here to platform windows and we're going to set the render hardware interface to default and then we're going to search for alpha and we're going to set this to linear color space only and then we're done with that we're going to close that and then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the plugins and we've got to enable our composure setting and just go click on that and that's all we have to do and then we're just going to re restart now and like I said this is just real quick and dirty it's a little bit different so here we are in our project I hit play and you can see our scene is working just fine I'll hit escape to get out of that and what I'm going to do is there's composure it should be enabled already if it's not just come up to window go to virtual production and it'll be there so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our content browser and see that our camera is working. So the camera is working right now. I just turned and looked at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to media, media player. I'm going to click this box here and go OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this box. And all I have to do, cam link set up and hooked up. And that's a very straightforward process. Go to video. There's cam link. I click on it. And there's my green screen. I have a green screen now. It's not well lit. I'm just going to show you real quick and dirty how this works. We're good to go on this. I don't need to make any other adjustments here. I don't need to loop it or anything. So I'll just close that. So that's good. We're, we're on our way. So then what we do is we're just going to come over to the Composure tab. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to create a new comp. And this is going to be an empty comp. And this is just a container holding everything. And then once that's created, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a layer. And I'm going to click here on the media plate. And this is basically our camera footage coming out of the GH5. I'm using a GH5. And then it closes back up and I click there. And what I do here is where it says input, I kick that arrow, I click that triangle, I click this triangle, and it wants the media source. So I'm going to come over to the content browser and I'm going to drag this into there. It'll, a blue screen will light up. So that's input, media source, and then media source, and you just drag it in like that. And that's all you have to do. Okay. And then we'll go back to the composure tab. So we've got our media plate, which is our footage, and we can see it's streaming in. What we do now is I'll right click, I'll click on comp, I'll go to add a new layer, and now we're going to add our virtual camera to film our CGI background. So we go to CG layer and click that, and now we just need to add a camera because it says it's missing a camera. So we'll come up here. You could have added the camera already. You just go to cinematics, cine camera. And then you'll see our camera is filming our background. And of course, we can move this around and adjust that in any way we want. Believe it or not, we're on the home stretch. All we've got to do now is create our material, quote unquote material, that will actually do the compositing for us. We're gonna, so we come into the content browser. We're going to right click here and go to create material. We're going to double click on this. 
and then we're down here where it says material domain we're going to go to post process then we're going to right click on the graph here we're going to type in 2d we're going to go to texture sample 2d and we can make another copy of that so we can just hit Control c click over here away from that and hit Control v and we just have to make name these the same as what is in our composure tab so if i click on composure we have to name one media underscore plate one and then one cgi element one so what i'll do is i'll click over here on the this will be our top layer and i just need to name it media underscore plate one and then i click on this one and this will be our background layer and this is going to be called cg underscore element element one okay and then all i have to do is right click and search for over and there that is and then i just drag rgba into here and rgb i have to move this a little bit rgba into uh, into b and then i just drag this into emissive color and then i just go apply and save this is basically our, our compositing function essentially even though they call it a material so now all i got to do is while i'm clicked on the comp i got to come over here to transform and hit this i've got to hit this little arrow this little plus sign to make a pass and add an array element and i click one more i come over here and click on the content browser and i just have to drag this material into here to light up blue and there we have that and then all i have to do as soon as i drag that on it's going to create these inputs so i have the plate one and they're there so if i go here back to the composure tab and i click on here the only question is why isn't my footage showing here so let me come back here click on here and for some reason it looks like i lost my feed and you know what happened <laughs> oh my gosh is my battery died so hold on just one minute Okay, sorry about that. My it's been a long it's been a long day actually. Nothing was wrong with Unreal Engine. My the battery on my camera just died, so I had to swap it out. So I can come back in here, and if I click on uh, Composure and I click here, this is basically our composite. And I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> this is kind of weird. You can see my hand go in front of the camera right there, right? Let's see, is it out of focus? So there's my hand. Okay, so there's my hand. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we click on our media plate. And I come down here and this is our chroma key function. All I have to do is key this out, key the green screen out. So we'll click here, there's our green screen. And of course this is a terrible key, this is just for illustration only. I just wanna show you that this works. If I click on the comp, this is interesting, right? I have to clean that part of the key up, but I just wanna show you this works. It's keying in through our background now. So if I click on the, well, I click on the camera here, but there's our comp. So if I, if I come in now and put my hand through, there's my hand. I noticed there's a little bit of uh, latency there on the streaming in. So, but that's basically our comp right there. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that it works and you can get this up and running. And then watch the other tutorials and I'll, it goes into more depth. And of course, there's a whole bunch of stuff about how to light a green screen, how to get a better key. We could de-spill it and clean this up. But I just wanted to show you that it works. Okay, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.